what's up guys and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel so today is january 3rd which in my opinion we're gonna just consider it the first okay because new year's was on a saturday and that's just not i just can't restart on a saturday you know what i mean so today's monday and i'm basically just gonna restart today and i desperately desperately needed a restart because my house right now is a pigsty my room is such a mess there's clothes everywhere there's a bowl from cereal because you know <laughs> i get hungry at night you know and when anthony's asleep i just go get cereal or something or whatever food and i just come and then it just stacks up like th i literally have two bowls right there from last night oh and a cup because i had strawberry milk y'all don't want to see my kitchen um dishes are overflowing out of the sink um anthony had me make him ramen noodles last night and when i went to go i grabbed a bowl right and it was like a little plastic bowl like it was like um like a tupperware type of bowl and i poured his noodles inside of the bowl right and he likes a lot of the juice in it like a lot of the water so i poured it all in there and then i just slowly see the water like just not in the bowl anymore and i'm like what the hell is happening and then i realized that there's a hole or like a crack in the bowl so the water is just seeping out slowly just getting out of just just disappearing out of the bowl so it's all going down the side of my cabinet right so then i go get a towel cleaning it up whatever and then i realized that it went inside of my spice drawer like i was literally just so over it yesterday like just nothing was going right so i was like you know what f this i'm going to sleep i cleaned up like the majority of it and i was like but i'm not gonna sit here and empty out this entire spice drawer wipe off every single spice and blah 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 whatever so i was like you know what i'm gonna do that tomorrow today is tomorrow it is 11 40 right now so i'm already getting a late start i slept in i've been super freaking exhausted recently like oh i've been so tired um yesterday I, we went to lunch with some of anthony's family and then i came home took a nap went grocery shopping and then came home went right back to sleep i've just been so exhausted recently and i don't know if it's the weather or if it's just because i'm pregnant but yeah, I've just been super tired and unmotivated and whatever, but it is 2022 now. It is a new year, so I'm not going to let that um, be an excuse. I'm going to get my lazy ass up, put on some YouTube, and get to cleaning. done all that i'm going to do in my room um my main goal was to get like all the clothes and stuff picked up and like all the shoes and make the bed and all the trash out and whatever um so it's not perfect um there's still things i want to do in here like this whole thing i just put in here so i need to organize all of that make it cute put like decor and all that stuff on it but yeah pretty much everything is done i'm just going to like i need to clean off his little thingy the rest of the way but i don't know like what papers like for the receipts and everything i don't want to throw away stuff that he needs so i'm just gonna end up leaving that that's his pajamas from last night made the bed half ass whatever and then there's nothing on the floor now nothing well that's my dog bed but whatever and then on my vanity i just have like i was drinking coffee this morning and that's my water and this is just other stuff that just whatever we're just gonna ignore the rest of that but everything else is like off the floor okay so my mom got me a 
shark vacuum for christmas and it's like the little robot ones like it's one of the little ones that roam like by itself and it like you can set it on a schedule or you can send it to like a room to clean or like whatever i like it a lot the only thing i that i can't figure out is why every single time i use it it has to re-explore so it keeps having me like like if i was to send it right now and be like okay go clean my kitchen then um it would say that it would have to re-explore but if it's on the schedule then it'll just go but it in order for it to be on the schedule it has to go to every room i was like i don't really understand why i'm having to keep re letting it re-explore in order for me to use it because it takes like 30 minutes for it to re-explore so then it, that's 30 minutes it has to explore i have to make sure you know everything is off the floor and where it's supposed to be because if not then whenever it re-explores then it says that there's something that's in a spot that's, you know, not usually there. So I don't know. If you have a shark vacuum, let me know if yours, if you, did you only have to explore it once? Or did it have to do it, like, multiple times until it, like, fully learns the map of your house? Or, like, I'm just confused. I don't know. Anyways, yeah. So now my room is as good as it's going to get. I have literally no energy. And it sucks because I want to clean and I need to clean. And I love when my house is clean, like who doesn't? But I just simply do not have energy and it sucks because I'm like, I even tried drinking coffee because I was like, I need something and since I'm pregnant, I can't just like, you know, drink a Celsius or something to get me going. So I don't know, I'm trying to push through it. Are you guys ready to see this horrendous kitchen? I don't think you're ready. I'm not ready to show you. It's like really, really real. Like this is, the worst my kitchen has been in a like a while like a fat minute um so please don't judge me it's literally been like i think three days and i've been putting just everything off and not touching anything and usually every night i clean like my entire kitchen but i've been lazy and i've had no energy and i've been putting it off and it's been new years and blah 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 but now today is the third and it is time to get my life back on track this is my kitchen guys Yeah, this is the biggest area in my house. This is like the common area and it is a complete disaster. Um, by the front door, that red tub and the yellow DeWalt thing, that is all Anthony's like tools and, and I cannot move it. Like I could probably drag it to the back door, but that's about it. And then there's like a whole stack of boxes because our recycling bin was full from Christmas. I don't know. There's just so much stuff and it's just like getting to the point that it's overwhelming and it's making me not want to do it, but I'm trying so hard to push through it. And also my freaking dishes. This is literally the worst my dishes have been in so long i'm gonna start with my living room because it's really not that bad i'm gonna try to throw away some of those boxes get those out of the way and done i also need to make time to get all of my christmas decor down okay guys so it is the next day um yesterday i was too exhausted to finish cleaning i literally did some dishes and then went to go eat lunch with my father-in-law for the record i did clean my house um more than what I mentioned, I did more than just dishes. I also cleaned off the couch, threw away some trash, you know, and started taking down some Christmas decor. But my father-in-law came over and then we went to go eat lunch. So I'm not a lazy sack of trash, you know. I'm only half of a lazy sack of trash. So I, I promise you, I didn't just collapse after I turned off the camera. But yeah, now I'm currently at Target. Uh, my main goal while I'm here is to get a bin for my christmas stuff because this is the first year that anthony and i have like our own place i mean we had our own house last year but his brother lived with us and whatever so um we didn't really decorate that much i decorated like a little bit but nothing like too crazy but now i'm actually like i bought a lot more christmas decor this year so now i need something to put it in so i can store it because i don't want to just put it in like a regular box i want it in like a tote or whatever to like protect it so that's the main thing i have to get here at target and then i want to um look at tripods and i also want to look at well i need windshield wiper fluid don't let me forget windshield wiper fluid okay y'all remind me and then i'm just gonna kind of gonna i'm just gonna look around i mean it's target like i'm gonna allow target to tell me what i need you know what I mean? But yeah, I'm going to try my best not to go too crazy because 
We don't need to be spending money like that, girl. It's right after holidays, New Year. We need to save money. <laughs> I'm already failing. I literally got the one cart that makes the most noise. Hey, I'm back from Target. I literally got the loudest freaking cart you can possibly get. Um, I even tried to like rotate it out and then the next one was also loud. So I was like, you know what? We're just gonna go with the flow, okay? But anyways, so I got my bug spray. All right, thanks for reminding me. And then I got this storage bin. So this is a new brand, I think, for Target Bright Room. Um, and I think it's exclusively at Target, but it's like a new organization brand, which I'm super, super excited about because I usually get my stuff on Amazon. I get like the M design or whatever. Um, but now, Bright Room is like the container store for Target, which is really freaking cool. So, yeah, anywho, this the whole thing, like this big old bin was only $11, which is pretty good. But I have to take down like all of this stuff behind me. Um, that's not that much, but there's more on that side. And then there's like lights and there's stuff in the room that I've already taken down. And yeah. So I needed something to put it inside. So I just got this big old bin. And then inside of it is everything else I got. So the first thing I got, I'm pretty excited about it. Um, I got this little tripod. So this is by the brand Mercury. And this is a seven inch tripod and mount. And it's like this little metal tripod and it comes with a phone thing which i love because i only have one of these and i lose it all the time so i really wanted like a second one to like you know in case i lose the other one or like i can keep one in my purse and then i can also have one um whatever anyways so yeah i thought this one was really cool because it's so small but it the little feet extend like my big tripod so i thought that was cool so that way um I can throw this one in my purse and I can use it to take Instagram pictures when I'm out in public or it just won't take up so much room in my purse whenever it's attached to my camera or even if I just want to bring a tripod separate. It's like really small and compact. So I really, really like that because the other one, let me show you the other one that I use normally, like the smallest one that I have so that way I can compare it for you guys. So this is the smallest one that I have right now. Um, yeah, and this thing flops over like all the time like my camera it's literally i have a g7x so it's not even that heavy but whenever it's on this one it literally will just start sliding if i try to angle it you know like say i'm like this one doesn't get it's not tall enough so if it's sitting on a table when it's open and then i have my camera like at an angle like this so that way it can point up at me it'll just slowly start going backwards and it's such a freaking pain in it so this is the size comparison of the two and this is normally the one that's attached to my camera that's in my purse. But, like I said, I wanted a smaller one. So, that we gave. Um, so, I'll open this in a second and show you guys um, all the cool gadgets and whatnot. The other two items I got are kind of boring. But, I just had to get more foundation. Um, I used the Maybelline Fit Me, the matte one. This is in shade 128. I know you're probably like, that's too dark for you. I promise it works for me. Um, especially with like the setting powder that I use and the mixture and whatever this is my shade and then um, I got this Concealer, this is the Too Faced born this way concealer in the shade almond sometimes I use almond sometimes I use vanilla It just kind of depends, but um, I got almond this time and Yeah, I this is my favorite concealer because a lot of people really like the Tarte Shape Tape concealer but in my opinion, that one is way too drying for me. My under eyes are really dry. Or they're not really dry, but they're like, once I put on powder and all that stuff, I'd be looking like a grandma. So I really like this one because it has coconut water in it. So it's hydrating for my skin. Um, so it's, I mean, it's hydrating for under my eye. So this one, it, the coverage is compared to the Tarte Shape Tape, except the Tarte Shape Tape is clay based and this one has coconut water in it so the other one is more matte and drying and then this one is the same coverage just more hydrating i hope that made sense but yeah so this is my favorite concealer and i really needed a re-up because i've been using the same one and like literally scraping the sides of it 
so it was time and now that target sells ulta products what or not ulta products but there's an ulta inside of target i'm able to get this from target instead of going all the way to ulta or sephora or anything like that so yeah because i go to target like every other day and i go to ulta like once a year now i want to show you guys this tripod because i'm curious and right now you're currently sitting on my fruit bowl you're on top of a banana so i needed a i needed a tripod okay these are the worst kinds of packaging in my opinion like they work they're cool but i hate opening them like i don't like the feeling of the scissors on the plastic and i also like cut myself most of the time when i'm opening these and it's terrifying so I'm, uh, i hate these <laughs> i didn't cut myself it's pretty lightweight too how do the legs extend that's what i want to know whoa that's cool wait that's it okay she seems pretty sturdy um so with it extended it's like barely barely shorter than this one which is perfect because then I can adjust the height of it and everything and I can collapse them to be a teensy weeny little butterfly. Let's see if you guys start rotating backwards. Um, I almost got the Joby one, but I changed my mind on it because I was like, that one is like 30 bucks, I think, and then this one was only 15. So I wanted to try it and see what happens. If I end up not liking it, then I'll just end up buying the other one. But this one came with the little phone thing also, so I just wanted to get this one. <gasps> How the hell? Woohoo! I'm an engineer, I fixed it. But anyways, that is it for my Target haul. Um, now it is currently, what time is it? It is currently 4.25. I don't know what I'm cooking for dinner. I'm probably gonna make breakfast sandwiches or something, but I do need to take down all of this um, Christmas decor um, and put everything else in the bin as well so I'm probably gonna get to doing that but yeah all right it is time to take down all of my Christmas stuff sad day sad day I'm just gonna set it right here okay so I went and grabbed all the other stuff that I had um, from the tree and stuff so I'm gonna put that in here first. I'm putting all the breakables on the table because I have bubble wrap over there. So I'm gonna lay down bubble wrap and then put all the ornaments so they don't break. This is my favorite thing that we bought this year for Christmas. Like for the decor like look at it it has a little truck inside with trees and it lights up like how freaking cute is this i just can't i love it it's so freaking adorable this i need to put in bubble wrap because if this breaks i will cry actual tears will be shed got this for Anthony and I for Christmas and I think it's so cute um, but <laughs> so fun fact everyone always misspells my name in Anthony's family like literally every single person pretty much spells my name wrong every single year um, so I think it's funny like at this point like it, it does not bother me anymore because I'm just so used to it my name is spelled s-k-y-l-e-r but they always put s-k-y-l-a-r but Either way, even though my name is misspelled, I think this thing is literally the cutest ornament. It says, you know, Skylar and Anthony, and then it has the little baby bump in there, and it says we're expecting. And I just think that's like the cutest little thing ever. Not the Burberry scarf. And it's crazy to think that next year, we're gonna have a baby. Baby boy will be here next Christmas, and that is freaking insane for me to think about. 
We're obviously Dallas Cowboy fans um, because we're Texans and we live in Fort Worth and Anthony grew up in Dallas. So he always, every year we get a Dallas Cowboys ornament and this is the one that he chose this year. It's Santa in a Cowboys truck. Isn't that the cutest? That's the one he chose this year. And then last year we both got one, or we each got one. And I don't remember who got which one, but these are the ones we got. But yeah, these are last year's. Okay, I think that's it. All right guys, so I now have all of my Christmas decor down. Um, the Christmas tree is the only thing not pictured, but I have some pillows. Um, some pillows are in here because they are just the cases that I took off my regular pillows. So there's those. I need another container for that and basically to put all of the fluffy stuff in, I guess. Um, but there's that container I just filled up. And then I have these two wreaths. I took the balls off of this one. This one was all decorated, but I took it off so they don't break. And then I just have some random stuff back there that's all Christmas so all this is gonna go back in the attic the only thing that's not here is my Christmas tree but other than that yeah that's it um but quick little update on baby boy's room so pretty much his room is cleaned out for the most part these are just some random toys that we got um here just at the house that people play with and when kids come over it's just stuff that accumulated um so I gotta find somewhere to do with that um, this stuff over here, this is going to go next to my front door, um, so that's going to be gone. And then this dresser, I think we're going to repurpose it. So this was a nightstand that Anthony's dad got us, or got, and he gave it to us. So I think we're going to repaint it, and we may keep it in here, or we may give it to Andrew to have in his room, which is the next room over. Um, and then this chair is going to stay here until... Um, if we get a recliner, then the recliner will replace it, but until then, that's going to stay there. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, oh, and then the bookshelf, that's gonna stay in here. Um, like that is filled with baby stuff, diaper baby stuff. Those are packages that need to go to my friend. Um, random decor stuff, more random decor stuff, whatever. So that, the bookshelf itself is gonna stay here, but everything else is probably gonna be messed around with and whatnot. But this is his room so far. It's pretty cleaned out for the most part. Um, this is the wall that's gonna have his, um, name and stuff on it and then the crib is going to go over here his laundry hamper is over there um and the bookshelf the dresser is going to be back on this wall um and this is the door but yeah so that's pretty much it we're going to leave these walls painted this color we were going to paint them um like an off-white or a gray but they're kind of already like that so we're just going to leave it and then we have the blue accent wall so yeah that's just a quick little nursery update um now that it's the new year we're really going to be focusing on getting a baby's room together. Um, I have to plan my maternity photo shoot. I have to buy my dress. I have to plan the baby shower. I have a lot of stuff I need to do. I still need to make my registry. Um, if you guys have any must-haves that you used on your children or if you know anything um, that I should for sure have on my registry, please let me know because well, I'm a first-time mom. Um, I know like the basics, of course, but if there's any brands that you guys are die hard for or if there's any products that you're like, this is a life changer for me, please let me know. Comment down below so I can actually look them up and hopefully like I can put it on my registry and whatever. So yeah, now it's going to be all about baby and I honestly cannot be happier, but yeah. Anyways, that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.